suppose I should go first. Where's Madison? She's right here with me. Dad, are you okay? Madison, you all right, hon? Dad. Mom's hurt. You don't need to be. Okay, it's okay. I'm sorry, Dad. She's fine, Mark. Trust me. Trust is a little hard to come by, Dr. Russell. Especially after what you pulled. I know. And uh, yeah. I, I can only imagine what you're all thinking. But if there were any other way to do this, I would. Do what, Emma? I'm saving the world. But by releasing those things, that doesn't make sense. As impossible as it seems, it does. Hear me out, Mark. After we lost Andrew, I swore his death would not be in vain. That I would find an answer, a solution to why the Titans were rising. But as I dug deeper, I realized that they were here for a reason. And that despite all the years that we spent trying to stop them, we never dared to confront the truth. Which truth? Humans have been the dominant species for thousands of years, and look what's happened. Overpopulation. Pollution. War. The mass extinction we feared has already begun, and we are the cause. We are the infection. But like all living organisms, the Earth unleashed a fever to fight this infection. Its original and rightful rulers the Titans. They are part of the Earth's natural defense system, a way to protect the planet, to maintain its balance. But if governments are allowed to contain them, destroy them, or use them for war, the human infection will only continue to spread. And within our lifetime, our planet will perish. And so will we, unless we restore balance. Then what's going to be left if you do this? A dead, charred world overrun by monsters? No, Dr. Stanton, the exact opposite. Just like how a forest fire replenishes the soil or how a volcano creates new land, we have seen signs that these creatures will do the same. San Francisco, Las Vegas, wherever the Titans go, life follows, triggered by their radiation. They are the only thing that can reverse the destruction that we started. They are the only guarantee that life will carry on. But for that to happen, we must set them free. You are murdering the world. No, because as difficult as this will be, I promise humanity will not go extinct. Using the Orca, we will return to a natural order, a forgotten order where we coexisted in balance with the Titans, the first gods. This is a dangerous path. You are meddling with forces beyond our comprehension, gambling with the lives of billions. And what are you gambling with, Serizawa? Monarch is broken. It's on the verge of being shut down by a government whose only objective is to eradicate the creatures. And if that happens, what will our chances be? You are out of your goddamn mind. First you put our daughter's life in danger, now you get to decide the fate of the world. That's rich, Emma. I couldn't be more sane, and Madison couldn't be stronger. After we lost Andrew, I trained her to survive. And at least now she will have a fighting chance. A fighting chance? Why don't you listen to yourself? It's not all math, Emma. Some things you can't control. And there are some things that you can't run from. This won't bring him back to us. I can only urge you all to take refuge. Over the last 60 years, Monarch has prepared bunkers around the world to save and restart civilization. I suggest you find them. That bitch.